Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a random hint slash tip GUI. So before we begin, make sure you have Explorer and Properties open so we can actually make the GUI. So the first step is we're going to be making the GUI. So insert a G screen GUI and star GUI and insert a text label under the screen GUI. We can name this text label to tip. Actually, I'm going to make it, yeah, tip. You guys can make it hint or tips or hint, whatever you want it to be. And this one, I'm going to make it to tip screen. And not top, tip. Just like that. Now on tip, we can drag it down and resize it. And this is something I discovered not too long ago, um, but it won't be the same on all devices. So to make it uh, the same, we're going to make the anchor point uh, under the tip uh, text label to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5, and then it should go over there. And then you can just re, you can just put it back, just like that. So now if you like look into phones, the label should be in the middle. And then you can customize it to however you want. I'm going to put it like blue. And then text scaled and you can change the color. I'm going to leave it black because I like the black. And then just delete the uh, text. Just like that. So this is going to be your tip. I'm actually going to change it just a little bit gonna make it not like full screen you can make a full screen if you want but I kind of want like that so you can close off the UI and now what we're gonna do is make the actual tips I don't know if there's a better way to do it but this is just how I do it so under lighting we're gonna add in a folder and then under the folder we're gonna name this to tips and then under the tips, we're going to, well, not yet, but first add in just a regular part, any old part. Doesn't have to be anchor anything, just, just insert a part. And this is going to be your tip. So you're going to rename the tip under name right here, somewhere here, name, and you're going to rename the tip to your actual tip. So say my tip is... Uh, there is no tip. Just like that, there is no tip. I'm going to add like dot dot dot. So that's the name. You can add spaces. It will work, but just make sure it's just a part. Don't do anything to it. Just make sure it's a part. Now, for every single tip you're going to have, you're going to insert another part. So this is going to be my second tip. And then I'm gonna space it a little bit. And then the second tip, I'm gonna name it. Well, it, the name is going to be uh, your actual tip. So I'm gonna. I can't find tip. It's the part. Oh, yeah, there it is. Part. Second one is nothing to see here. Just like that, and I like adding dot dot dots at the end. And so that's going to be tip number two, and I'm going to have three tips in total. So I'm going to duplicate it, but make sure you change the tip to your actual tip. So tip is going to be, um, let's say, look at other tips, not this tip. Dot dot dot. So now we've got our tip names. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all three of them under the tips folder in lighting. So now you've got the first uh, part done and the second part is going to be scripting. So what we're gonna do is uh, under the uh, tip GUI so we're going to make it visible again. We're going to add a script. 
So after you've opened the script, let's just really quickly name it Tip uh, Picker. And then we can go write the actual script now. So we can go with some variables. And actually, there's a lot of variables. There's actually more variables than the uh, actual non variable scripts. We're going to go local uh, tips folder equals to game dot lighting dot tips just like that go down the line local tips equals to tips folder colon get children with brackets what this means is it will choose the tips uh, from the tips folder so we can go down the line while true do go down the line local chosen tip equals to tips and then square brackets math dot random regular brackets one comma hashtag tips what this means is it will randomly choose a tip from the tips folder go down the line then script dot parent dot text equals to and then quotation marks and then we go tips a uh, tip uh, colon space outside of the quotation mark dot dot chosen tip dot name just like that and then go down the line and then we can go wait five so every five seconds it will choose a new tip and lastly I'm going to add another thing you don't have to add this but I'm just gonna add this to make sure that it actually chooses a tip so print quotation mark tip uh, colon space and outside the quotation mark dot dot chosen tip dot name just like that so uh, actually I was lying it's not more it's only three variables but there's only like one two three four four lines of non variable scripts so if we go over here and press play And as you can see, as soon as we're in the game, it says tip, nothing to see here. And then tip, look at other tips, not this tip. After five seconds, tip, nothing to see there. And if you want to make sure that it's actually choosing a random tip, go to the output and then see. It shows tip, nothing to see here two times. Look at other tips, not this tip, nothing to see here. There is no tip, nothing to see here. And then nothing to see here again so yeah oh nothing to see here another time that's uh weird oh and a fourth time okay so basically the oh yeah look at that there is no tip so the more uh tips you have uh the more random it will be so the less uh, chance it will keep on repeating and also just one last thing if you take these into workspace just make sure that they are just the brick, nothing else. Like, they're just the brick. Don't, like, scale it or anything, or the code won't work. Um, I might find a, another solution where you, where you can scale it to anything. Or maybe just a different solution to this problem and all. But for now, that will be it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. We're getting really close to 10 subscribers. And I am planning to do a 10 subscriber special video. So make sure you subscribe if you want that. And until next time, bye.